Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. It's a beautiful time when hearts are softened. When the biases of the human beings are lessened. And we can talk about things that are personal. Beautiful. Processes that perhaps you don't expect. Or we can give you stories that might awaken you to things you didn't know. Or perhaps that no one told you. And as we reveal these yet again, the warning is given that they may fly in the face of what you've been told. And for you to believe them, you may have to change that which you have been instructed by those you love. And that's tough. But we cannot put it down. And what I mean by that is we can't stop talking about this. Who is God to you? And the operative word is who, not what. The creator of the universe. is not an energy. It's a who. It's not a human who. It doesn't have the consciousness of a human being or a brain or a heart. It has pure and absolute love. The who that you think of that created that which is this galaxy and all that is in it has an attitude. It's a who. Who is God to you? Some think, well, it, it's like a parent. It's more than that. For when you are not here, you are part of the who. It's like when you are away. Part of God is away. If I told you that the creator of the galaxy and the universe knows who you are, that is a mild statement. You are part of the who. You're missed. It's not that, that somehow the creator knows about the, the tiny little human and the tiny little earth and the tiny little solar system in an enormous galaxy and universe is not that way at all you are missed because you are part of the creative energy God inside you who is God not a parent it's an energy that is missing you and if God is love and compassion what do you really think that the relationship is and you might say, the relationship? Oh, yeah. Let's back up. In a lower energy, the spirituality between man and God has been misstated. And what you have done with God, we have told you so many times before. You have put God into a place that has human consciousness. You can't think above who you are, who your parents are. You can't think above what humans are. And so you put the human attributes on the creator of everything. And you've made him hard to get to. I want to show you how absurd that is. I want to give you the reality. It is more beautiful than beautiful. I want you to take a deep breath because what I want to tell you, you don't expect. 
God doesn't just know you or who you are. Lives with you. You are part of an amazing puzzle that this planet counts on. You're not here by accident. You've lived before. You're eternal. The part of God that you are, that you call the soul, never had a beginning. Always was. You were here when the universe was made. You will be here when it's gone. That's who you are. And what do you think that relationship is to that which you may call the parent if you want to? What is your relationship to your children? We have asked this before. I want to do it again differently. Some of you have children precious, innocent, young. Some of you have children who are all grown up and they have children. But I want you to envision every child right now that you had anything to do with as being six, seven, eight years old. They're still clinging to you. And the love that you've given them and the care that you've given them and the beauty that they are. And when you stand above their bed when they're asleep and you just look at them. And your heart goes out to them. And we say to you, amplify that a million times. That's the relationship of you and the Creator. Now imagine that six or seven year old coming to you and saying, I'm a little confused. Do you really love me? Mom, do you really love me? And what are you going to say to that innocent one, that beautiful one, the one from you? What are you going to say? Are you going to say, well, I'm not going to tell you. And instead, I want you to jump through some hoops a few times. I want you to go over there and maybe suffer a little. There's about a thousand steps over there. I want you to climb them. And when you're done, go the other way. And when you're really, really tired, let's talk again. Dear ones, welcome to earth. That is what you do to God. Literally, from the depths of the ignorance that a low consciousness humanity has, that's what you've done. The door to the relationship, the beauty, the tools of God is wide open. And the duality of your biology is all you have to get through to take the hand of God. The questions that were asked today, so many of them, how do I, how do I, what's next? And you're asking a human being, why don't you ask the Creator. Dear God, I know the door is open. I know I am part of it. Guide me along the way. And then just be quiet. Because that is the intent of you and your consciousness with the Creator, and you're going to get a reaction. You're going to start feeling there is help. And it's not coming from any place, any human. It's coming from the source that you have inside you. It comes slowly because you're going to have to walk through that duality. Chemically and in consciousness, all of the lifetimes you have lived, there has been one kind of a relationship and a veil that has hidden this. Because in the old energy, this was tough. This is not the old energy. This is not your grandfather's new age. This is new. And all that is today have different rules. 
But the chief one is this. The door is open. The veil is starting to lift. Don't stay in an old energy where you look up and say, do you love me? And then somehow, for some reason, accept the answer, I don't know. Why don't you find out by going here, doing this, on and on. Dear ones, if you see that scenario, that's men's scenario, not God's scenario. Do you have to prove yourself to God? No. God knows who you are. There is no proof necessary. He asked the question, God, do you love me? I want you to expect an immediate answer with chills, maybe even some tears, when in you comes flowing the answer, because you ask. Just because you ask. Exactly. As if your six or seven year old had asked you that question, Mom, do you love me? And what you do is run to the child, pick him up and kiss him, and say, eternally, forever, even after I'm gone, you'll feel me. That's God. Don't be confused with some who say, you've got to jump through hoops or go here and do this. That's not the way it is. It just isn't. The beauty of this and the door being open means that, dear ones, the puzzles before you have clear, beautiful, benevolent answers. Without complexities, if you will simplify the consciousness of the line to God. Do you believe it? Can you sit alone and say, show me how. I feel you. I know you're there. I miss you too. That's the relationship. That's the who of God. It's not complicated. Not complicated. And as far as love goes, it is eternal. I want you to feel the freshness of this. There is no problem you have this day that cannot be solved. There is no health issue that cannot be corrected. What did the masters show you who walked this planet? They showed you total and complete control of biology and even death. You think that was an anomaly? That is the relationship to God. We've invited you to discover the mastery that you've seen in the history of the planet so that you will believe it and work it and know it and use it to live a life that is not only healthy but long and joyful. If you have issues, they didn't come from God. You came from your own consciousness, your cellular structure working the puzzle too hard. It's time to wipe that away and understand the door is open. You and the door. Easier said than done, yes. Because you come out of old times, dear ones. Don't be surprised if the children are not hung up like you are. Because they have not experienced an old energy like you did. In their adulthood, in their spiritual quest, if they choose to have one, they're going to fly through the door. They're going to see the path. They're not going to complicate it, and they're not going to see themselves jumping through hoops and climbing stairs. It's going to be obvious to them. Born in the new energy, the children are different. Don't be surprised if they don't want to join anything. Because they're going to see a completeness of spirituality 
within themselves. The church is in their heart. The worship is automatic. The love is intuitive. That's what you're going to expect. Meanwhile, the old soul, the one who's been on the planet the longest and can do the most, has got a little work to do. I want you to go home differently than you came. And tonight, before you go to bed, I want you to say these words and feel the result. I dare you. Four words. The door is open. And so it is. <laughs>